Hi guys, and welcome back to the new series, Pastures New. I've just had a bit of breakfast here, doing the pods. It's a lovely, lovely morning outside by the looks. So let's go and take stock of the situation so far. The bed's put away. I'm going to have to do something about those weeds growing through the couch at some point. Not number one on the list at the moment, but it needs sorting. Into, into the little village here and we decided to tidy the yard up and sell anything that was that was possibly worth any money and put the funds towards trying to get the, the business back on track we do have use this lovely red Massey Ferguson here The cool personalised number plates there. <laughs> so yeah, we've got fourteen lots of big pound, eleven £1 hundred pound in the bank now after we leased the tractor. Okay, so that's that's not going to go far. There's obviously a lot of work to done here. We need to we need to sort this field out as quick as possible because we need to get something in into the bed, into the field, growing, so that we can sell and make money. So that's going to involve, well obviously digging this old crop up, cultivating the soil, probably needs, yeah, judging by the field info down there, growth is withered, the crop type was barley, and there's no fertiliser in the soil. So we're going to need to hire some some form of, well maybe a cultivator or something to get this all dug up. So that's going to cost money. So I, I think what we need to concentrate on, which is an obvious an obvious thing to do, really, is we own the orchard up the top there. If we bring up the uh, the map we can see if we, which is our farmland there. One and two, that is our, our land. So we've got the yard there, we've got the orchard, and then we've got the field number two next, next door to it. So I think an obvious source of, of possible income is chop a few trees down, especially those big ones there, they've probably Probably, they're probably going to be worth quite quite a lot of money. I think obviously in the future we will look to replant so that so that so that we've got a rotation going. But there's an obvious source of income there. So I think we'll try and we'll try and hitch the trailer up, test out my tractor driving skills, and we'll go and have a closer look up in the orchard. Okay. out. Oh, not bad. Let's see if we can hitch this trailer up. Gently, does it? There you go. Are we can attach the trailer get up into those woods. Go on, let's go and have a look. Lovely September morning here. We actually sat quite well on that fold-up bed as well. It's quite comfy. Alright, 
Right, okay. So let's jump off and have a look. I mean, there's some big trees there. A lot of privacy we could do with cutting this all back. Make sure the tractors get yeah, that well back. We don't want to. We don't want the tree dropping on the tractor. That would be a bit of a disaster. Okay, let's, let's put the map away for now. We don't need that. And let's fire up the chainsaw. It doesn't sound the most powerful of chainsaws, but hopefully it'll do the trick. So, let's attack this tree from the side. Okay, so that's that's a great start. It's fell against that one. So if we fell this one as well, they might fall both together. There you go. Double timber. <laughs> okay, so we need to we need to try and get up blimey they're big trees. The next door neighbour's not going to be too happy with me. It's, it's fallen into her garden as well, the field. That's it there. That's better. Try and get this limb off here. Okay. Let me cut that one there. end now, the other three. I feel like singing that, is that that Monty Python song? I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I'm alright. <laughs> Let's put that one there. And if we cut that one there, Hopefully those base of the tree off. Yeah, so let's see if we can see if we can drag some of these logs. Should have brought the trail a bit closer, really. Well, we didn't do that because we didn't get flattened by the tree, did we? I think that might be slightly too heavy for us to to carry. I'll cut that again there, I think. Maybe we'll be able to, hopefully, we'll be able to pick these up. Cut these, these two big ones here in half again, I think. to get that one. Yeah. Let's just don't get over it. I tell you guys we'll pretty and we'll we'll bring the trailer a bit closer. Good size log. Stack it neatly in the trailer. Okay. That one in. Don't know how much weight this trailer will take. And I'll be 
obviously as we uh, when we were deciding what tractors to get we didn't have we didn't have much options open to us really because of our funds I was able to boosted the, the horsepower of the tractor up slightly but I think we're quickly going to find out if it's going to be powerful enough to suit our needs but we've got to go with what we've got guys Let's see if that won't drop over that side well, be careful, it doesn't trip the trailer over. Let's try and get that in. The thing with this trailer as well is it came with some, some straps. So, yeah. Strapped in nicely. What's that looking like? It's looking. I don't know. Should we risk one more? We'll risk one more. Because obviously we're not used to we're not used to farming full stop. So it's, it's a question of getting used to what equipment we've got. And that is looking like it's too heavy for us guys. So we're going to have to split that again. So if we split that and take take that in two. Big fireplace to put that log in, wouldn't you? Obviously, we're going to take it to the lumber yard, and they will they will process it further. Okay, let's see if that won't drop in there. Yeah, and I think we'll try that one last small one there and see what our weight's looking like. doing the old back any good but hopefully we'll start using muscles we've not used before and we'll get stronger okay let's let's strap that all down yeah that's all strapped down isn't it okay let's see if let's ho hopefully the tractor can pull this well it's pulling them okay Push me luck. We'll check. We'll check at the lumber yard to see how much how much this is worth. And then it'll give us a good idea of what type of what type of money we're gonna to make today. Right, and we need to check the map to see where the lumber yard is, so gas station so that's where we fill up bakery all right that's going to be somewhere we'll have to visit for a pasty <laughs> that's our that's us there we've got a carpentry place across the road wonder if he's interested in buying wood that would be a short drive ah sawmill so that looks like it could be the place we need Level max the train so the sawmill I tell you what we'll tag the sawmill so it'll show up on our map but I might call off in the carpenter just across the road and see if he's interested in in buying some okay right that's it let's head on our way guys let's bring the map up slightly bigger yeah we can see the sawmill we've tagged down the bottom right hand corner there. So basically we hang a left out of, out of the farm. And hit the road. The car's coming. Oh, thank you mate, he's letting me go. Okay, so the sawmill is... We, we, we take a left 
should we just call in? Take one log to this camp and see if he's interested in buying anything. All oh, right, I've stopped the traffic here. Tell you what. Just park off the road. There you go. Don't want to go upsetting the neighbours. Let's take... Let's take one of the small ones across the road. Nothing coming. No. no. Let's get across this road. So presumably if I drop this here for the local carpenter guy. And then go to his cell point. It's tell me I can sell wood. Now we've got 30, 11, just 1100 quid in the bank. Let's, um, let's sell that log. Oh wow, so we got £83 for that. That's not bad at all. And we've kept ourselves well in with with our neighbour, virtually. Camps are across the road. Right, okay. Well, I think what I'll do is I'll take the rest up to the sawmill and see what type of price we get there. Oh, what a lovely morning. And this tractor's pulling this, this load up this hill, no problem. It looks like the sawmill is coming up on the right. I suppose it's good to 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 do a bit of, bit of business with a few outlets so that we get around that there's that there's a new a new resident that's taken over the farm, Michael's farm. Yeah, there's the marker, so we're in the right place. Oh look, and there's the train. Wow. I think when we have grain to sell at some point in the future, fingers crossed, we can drop it off at the silo at the railway station. We'll make some money that way. Okay, so we need to go to the... Uh, there's the tip in sight. We park up there. Yep, sell wood. So what we need to look at is uh, how much we've got in the bank now. Sell the wood and see how much we make. Okay, £592. That's not too bad at all. I'm quite pleased with that because the load wasn't that big. I've got a feeling we could have probably took some, a few more logs there. So, without further ado, I think we'll get back to the back to the farm. Well, that's our first bit of business, there, folks. I'm quite pleased with that. One thing is obvious, though, we're going to have to cut quite a few trees down. I need to find a price on how much it would be to lease a cultivator to get our field into some type of state where we can plant a crop in it. Okay, watch the traffic. You know, because I don't think we're going to have enough money to buy a roads of Asia just yet seems our only route is going to be leasing. Well, needs must, as I keep saying. So let's 
Let's make our way back to the orchard. And I think we can take... If we look at the map there, we can probably take a right here. Say we've gone through the village. We can take uh, the farm track that will bring us... Uh, bring us to the back of our farm. Save a bit of time. I think we take this right here. It should take us to the back of the farm. Yep, this is looking promising. Yep, that's the back of our farm there. Oh, well, I hope I can see something hidden in the in the, the privets there. It's definitely my land. Let's just stop and, and have a look what, what it is there that's... Oh, wow. There's another item that the... that the receivers have missed. Mind you, I don't blame them. It's tied in, well camouflaged, up, up at the top of the field. And the brigades. That looks like some type of... Uh, um, homemade container to transport water or liquids. All right. I think uh, after we've done some logging, we'll come back up here and and clear out these privets and bushes and see if that's any use to us in the future. Wow. So there's definitely treasure in these woods. Let's get back to the track, there, guys. Yeah, we need to get these trees clean, cleared up before our neighbour spots them. <laughs> They're not going to be too happy. Let's get the chainsaw out. They're eating the eating the contents of that field. Was this way, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyway, it looks like I'm in for a busy morning this morning, so I'm going to crack on with this, guys, and I'll I'll speak to you later.
add to it. Right. Okay, there's the last load. Let's get it weighed in, guys. Wow, that was over a thousand pound all again, so as you can see, we're not far short of nine and a half thousand pounds in the bank now. So that's a pretty good good achievement for our first morning's work. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna we're gonna pop to the dealership and see what equipment would be wise for us to either lease or maybe even buy to take things forward. Come on, let's go. ships up here. they've got. Now everything else is out of our price range. I mean there's that cheap one there, 12,000. We couldn't afford to buy it, but we could lease it. But I'm really trying to think a long term here. So I think what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to take this one and we're going to a string roller and a tooth roller yeah. or maybe a dual roller see that looks like it could be the business and it's not altered the horsepower the other oh, it's got hair on it as well it's not just it up to 2900 so what would be the best thing? Roller or arrows. I think I'm going to go for the roller. So that should compact it as well. So that might save us having to buy a separate roller. And the goose feet look, look like they could be a lot more efficient. So that look, seems worth £100, doesn't it? Mounting of the wheels. I'm not sure. Forward or backwards, I don't, I don't know really. We'll go with new, yeah. Type of wheels, old, new. Well, we can only f matured. That's all we can. Ah, you know, we're not playing. Not matured. We'll put a new set of wheels on. Warning panels. Yeah. Okay. And what about color? We need to worry about color. Grey, design colour, black, maybe the, maybe a green, do you think? Orange, red, brown. Well, yeah, that looks good. It's going to cost us 3375 Yep, let's go for it. Bye. Okay. Let's go and have a look, guys, at what we've just bought. Wow. That's a piece of kit. So hopefully that will be we will be able to do some work on our field. Just make it look like a a, a a field that can take some crops the moment it's got more grey hair on it than my head right stupidly as I mentioned we're gonna have to take the trailer back and come back for the cultivator I mean I suppose I could use that forklift over there and try and nah we'll we'll take this back and then come back for the, come back for the cultivator so a quick speedy ride back to the farm
Oh my god, guys. <laughs> it's really hard to do. Right, let's go and pick up our cultivator. Wasn't too bad. Made good time there. It's only a short trip. There we go, guys. Let's hitch up. Cultivator. One thing I didn't think to check was the weight, but it seems to be okay. The tractor's not popping a wheelie. I'm not sure if you can buy a weight for the front of this tractor. Hmm. Something to be weary of in the in the future. I think we might have just looked out there. I didn't think to check that. Nothing coming. Okay. Well, hey, my first cultivator. I'm wondering as well whether we should have thought we've got 6,000 in the bank, whether we should have thought of actually purchasing this tractor so that we're not actually making daily payments on it. I'll stick with it for now because I think for us to move up is going to cost a lot of money. And I don't know if... It's certainly a great tractor, but... I don't know if we're going to have to be in a position of selling it soon. It's all about forward planning, isn't it, guys? Okay, so there we have it guys, our first cultivator, it looks just a business that doesn't it, it's actually our first piece of machinery that we actually own it, well not forgetting of course the, the homemade water carrier that we found up in the bushes there which we need to put in the shed before, before night time. I think I'll give Coco a little bit of a extra food here. There you go, dog. Yeah, she's going to be happy with that. There you go. <laughs> I think what I'll do now is I'll go and have a quick brew and then we'll test this rotivator out. Exciting times, guys. Okay. That was a good brew. And now we're off to see what this lovely machine of mine, this new addition, will actually do. Come on out the way, birds. There's a man here in with a with a plan. So as we looked on the map at the beginning of um, the day, basically we are on this field with all this grey stuff in it. But obviously that's no good to us, so we're going to have to uh, get rid of it. So, we're going to line that up, so we need to drop it down, I think. Yeah, it's literally as easy as that. I don't think it's motorised, it just works off the prop, I think. And then we've got to try and get rid of this, um, all this grey withered, withered stuff. Let's have a go. You've got to cultivate to speculate. There you go. It's the same for you. OK. 
Okay, what does that look like? Let's have a look behind us. Oh, wow, look at that, guys. It's definitely an improvement. Although it's leaving some rocks behind there. I don't know... Uh, I know you can you can get machineries to remove stuff like that, but it's very expensive. Oh, well, we just have to roll a bit for now. But, come on. Let's cultivate. Obviously, it's not it's not a great working width to it. It's doing a great job, but it's not covering as much as much width as probably one of the more expensive ones does. Let's get this last piece done. guys well that field looks like a farmer's field now yep considering what it looked like yesterday morning when we arrived we've certainly got through it you can see Coco in the distance there keeping guard on her territory the field looks ready for its next stage. The soil looks great. I'm a bit concerned about those stones, but as I say, you can buy all these at the machine to pick the stones off you. You can actually sell them at the quarry, but I don't think we're going to be able to afford that. That's going to be beyond our reach. So we might just have to put up with those for this, for this particular harvest year, of this next cycle, rather. But yeah, I'm pleased with that. The field looks great. Well, that reminds me as well. We should look at that bit of hidden treasure we found in the um, in the top of the woods. There. I'll tell you what. We'll go and put the cultivator away, and then we'll go and have a have a closer look at that. Why 
you this should be easy, it's not a trailer so it's it's actually lifted up so no, I made the right choice there. Let's get that up, drop it down, there you go. It certainly looks like it's homemade, probably my uncle's handiwork, or well, he's got somebody to knock something up cheap for him. Oh, beggars can't be choosers. I think, I think we might be able to hitch up to this without having to touch that. That, that, uh, that tree there, the small tree. Let's give it a go, see if we can drag it out. Up. So if we just nudge out and then sharp left, oh, wrong way. There you go, pulled it out. Well, we'll go and put this in the shed. We haven't got a use for it at the moment. Who knows, it might come in handy further down the line. Oh, this should be interesting. I'm trying to reverse this in. <laughs> Try and sneak it in there in front of the in front of the wheelbarrow. Yeah, I'm making a meal of this again. Well, you've got to learn. That should go in there nicely now. Precision reverse in there. How about that? There's the old trusty trailer there. That served as well today. That's made us a few quid. I'll find in the woods.